Hiya, how are you doing? Good to see you. We're carrying on with the Action Bible. We're on to page 153 today. Good advice. If you remember, Moses and the Israelites defeated uh, the local tribe who came and tried to attack them. They held up Moses' arms with his staff and they won. And uh, if you remember the week before, Moses sent his wife and children off to their Jethro, who they used to live with, and to say, come, come and meet us. So Jethro appears and turns up in this one. It's called Good Advice. It's on page 153. When they reach the wilderness at Mount Sinai, Moses sets up camp. One day, a messenger brings him good news. Your father-in-law Jethro, your wife and your sons are on their way to see you. Moses goes out immediately to meet them. I'm so glad to see you. I've heard the wonderful things God has done for you and your people, said Jethro. Proudly, Moses shows Jethro around the camp. As the day goes by, Jethro notices that people bring all their complaints to Moses all day long. This is remarkably inefficient, he thought. Moses is spending his day sorting out people's problems. Moses, you can't serve as a judge to all these people by yourself. You need to learn a little thing called delegating, which means giving some jobs to other people to do. Find other wise men, teach them the way of the Lord and let them judge for all of these people in your place. Moses took his father-in-law's advice. You are right. This gives me more time to teach my people about God. Soon after this, Moses goes up to the mountain to talk with God. When he returns, he has news for his people. Prepare yourselves. For on the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people on Mount Sinai. On the morning of the third day, thunder rolled across the sky, lightning flashed, and the sounds of trumpets filled the air. This is the signal to leave the camp. Stay right beside me. Don't go beyond the boundaries Moses set for us. Moses says, if we even touch the mountain, we will die. So... God's going to turn up and speak to the people. And if you look on the next page, you can see it's all about God's commandments and his Ten Commandments. So I'll see you next week for that. And then that's it. We've got two weeks off for Christmas. Uh, but I'll see you next week. Keep well. Stay safe.